think Mumbai cricket has been known for winning any trophies um, all the time, and we have not we had not won it for nine years uh, on the tour. And, and now winning it after nine years, it feels uh, surreal. Actually, um, it was a great team effort. Uh, everyone contributed in their spaces. There was no one standout performer, but everyone contributed throughout. Obviously, it's a very good feeling. Uh, you win the championship after a lot of years. I mean, every Mumbaiker was waiting for this because we've been we're known for winning championships. And obviously, being part of that team for a few games, I learned a lot of things as a youngster. And I feel the goal we had at the start of the season it paid off really well, and we were able to you know win one championship. So all's well. Even that the celebration is happening in the club house, so. How do you see their community speech in hobby societies, particularly in terms of promoting wellness or fitness? Talking about this process. I think uh, it's really important because everyone who lives in a building uh, needs uh, that kind of facility. Uh, I mean, being athletes, we are uh, used to it, but people who are doing nine to five jobs and everything, they need a, uh, they need to like get out and move. So it's like a really good thing that a building has a clubhouse. I think that's really fantastic. So, if you have good health, uh, people say you're successful in life, and I mean all the amenities here will contribute in doing so for the people who live here and if I think from an athlete's point of view, we travel a lot. So we have to, you know, swoop in the workout time also. So if we have amenities right at our disposal, it will be really good for us in, in uh, long term. Can you share some personal experience uh, regarding this club house you have Experience about the club house. Have you spent time in Goya? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, as soon as I entered, I thought the it's a very big area and uh, looks beautiful from the outside. We haven't been to the clubhouse as of now. We were very eager to see it, so looking forward to it. What would you say about that? The ambience is really good. I mean, uh, it's not far uh, from the city as well. It's in Thane, but still, uh, it's a really good space. Uh, it's still a bit under construction. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. But it's a humongous place, so I'm really uh, uh, really hoping that it would be a really good facility and uh, building to live. Oh, sides really look promising. We're looking forward to seeing the whole place. So. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Very happy to be here. Uh, I was just telling Anur that I'm looking forward to seeing the swimming pool. It's 50 meters. Yeah. Very rare to find a pool like that. Yes. Yes, we have a Olympic size swimming pool here. And also we have uh, the directors uh, of the company here with us. We have Mr. Anuj Guraria and Shraddha Guraria. Can you please have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the right here. Sir, thank you so much. First of all, the most updated moment is the but you must have been really young when they started this. Yeah, I was 23, 24 or so when this began, in fact. If we could have some words from you. Sure. Um, uh, thank you to um, uh, Mr. Milin for, for being here. And it's a pleasure to welcome him and have him inaugurate the club. The club has truly been one of the most awaited clubhouse in the entire Thani district, in fact. We have the largest swimming pool, a 50 meter Olympic size swimming pool coupled with multiple guest rooms, um, three to four banquet halls and movie theatres for all of our residents. And we would be inaugurating the clubhouse from tonight and tomorrow morning the customers can begin using be it the gymnasium, football court, cricket turf and all the amenities. And we'd like to thank all the media for being here. It's our pleasure to host you at those things. I'll just hand over to Shraddha. He's pretty much summed up the descriptions of the club. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind club in the vicinity of Thane Balkum and we are excited to host all our residents, the current ones and the future residents in our club. Um, definitely um, there's going to be every single amenity um, a customer is looking for and uh, since it's not only the club that's making this place very admirable, we have the central park right by it that's adding to the amenities. We have the Iskon temple right around us. We have the metro line which is passing by in the future. So this place overall like making Thane Balkum like one of the most uh, future destinations to live in 
we're discreditable to all of this. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Uh, also, may we please have uh, right here with us the Chairman and Managing Director of Dosti Realty, Mr. Deepak Goradia. Please put your hands together. Mr. Deepak Goradia is right here with us. Sir, if you could say a few words. Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, welcome, Ji, for the second time visiting this Dosti West Country project. Uh, we had opportunity to host Pinkathon in 2017 in April, and he was uh, respectfully he and the team. We had arranged the thing, and then he personally came and uh, interacted with everybody, and then we had a competition for organized here. And now, we, as Anuja uh, Shraddha said about the club and welcoming you again, and the real athlete, real um, man who is really uh, having the, we also tried giving the best of the gym, best of the swimming pool, best of the facility which we will visit up. And we, this is the right icon for us to have you at the club. Welcome you again, and thank you for visiting. phenomenal club and giving us an opportunity to put these in clubs at work and provide world-class lifestyles and services to the residents of all of those projects. And thank you very much, Nidhinji. I think you are the truest ambassador of what it means to live wholesome, fit, um, and complete holistic lifestyles. And what we're trying to do is build communities around sport, fitness, and wellness. And you are the, in my opinion, epitome of that icon. Uh, building communities has been something that you've done phenomenally and we want to learn and have you help us build communities around those aspects here as well. Um, thank you once again to the entire hosting team. Uh, unbelievable teamwork and out of all the developers we work with, we have been proud to be associated with the uh, developer Thank you. Abhishek Mishra. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because it's a half. It's a half iron man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only do the full. That's a punch shot. He did right four time Iron Man. Yeah. Different, different countries. Yes, yes. Nice. So, what I wanted. Whether you go to the full? Um, I want to first do the half and less than five and a half hours, okay. and then do the full. So I'm doing a race next month in Singapore. That's this T100 series. It's like it's a 100 km, not like the 130, but slightly shorter. Okay. Uh, that's on uh, April 11th in Singapore. Slightly shorter than a half iron. Yeah. The half iron man's a 92 km bike. This one's a 80 km bike. But the swim and the run is the same. Swim run is 3 km shorter. 18 km. Which camera? <laughs> so I have been involved in sports since I was a child. Uh, I started swimming competitively at the national level from the age of nine. Uh, I was national champion in swimming in my event till the age of 23. So all through my growing years I was a sports person. And I can't uh, overestimate the value of sports for anybody. I mean the kind of person you are changes dramatically if you participate in sport. And of course I was very lucky because uh, I started very young and I'm sure the children who are going to be here in your community are very lucky because they have these amazing facilities. But it's never too late to start. That's the main thing that I'd like to say. Because the most important thing that we miss in our country is we don't have a culture of sports and fitness. We don't have a culture of exercise. So even the parents are sending their children to learn sports and fitness, but they themselves are not doing it. But if you want the children to learn, where we, saw, we say the youth, next generation, whatever it is, it's important that the parents do it themselves. The parents have to take up some sport themselves, even in a small way. Even if you give 10 minutes, half an hour a day to some sport, then your children will follow you. Otherwise. You know, they need a good example. So we complain usually that children today don't listen. But they will not listen. We can't expect them to listen, but they will watch. If you do something good, they will follow you and do something good. Right? Sir, how does Dosti country club is better and larger than others? Oh, yeah. This is better. Um, uh, so, um, uh, clubhouses and Dosti enjoy a very special relationship, in fact. Um, uh, back back in the day, more than 22 years ago precisely, 
we were the one of the first developers across MMR or Mumbai region to develop a clubhouse in one of our projects in those three acres at New Wadala. And that was a time when clubhouses were not common, be it a running track or a cycling track or maybe just a gully cricket was popular among societies. But no developer actually provided multiple amenities, be it a clubhouse, banquet, gym, swimming pool of those sorts. And that was a big business risk and call taken by my father Deepak Guradia and his partners. And they were convinced by the architects that doing a club would truly mesmerize the customers down the line. And in 2003, we in fact inaugurated the club at the hands of HDFC Limited Chairman Mr. Deepak Parekh. And after the club being inaugurated, all developers across MMR, Mumbai, Thane, Raigad came and saw our club. And today when an average home buyer goes to purchase a home in any project, having a club is a given. It's a standard that a developer has to live by it. So we feel proud about the fact that Dosti has been one of the first movers in developing a clubhouse across, across the city. Sir, about the legacy and the culture yeah, yeah. Sir, about the legacy and about the culture you created this project. Um, Dosti West County was launched in the year 2018 with the launch of Dosti Oak and Dosti Cedar. Recently, we launched Dosti Pine, Dosti Tulip. We'll very soon be launching Dosti Maple during the auspicious time of Gudi Padwa. And we've also launched two new sectors known as Dosti Tulip and Dosti Nest. The advantage at a project like this is going to remain that each and every sector will have their own dedicated clubhouse. So each and every resident will get to enjoy a clubhouse, be it the clubhouse in sector 1 is close to 45,000 odd square feet. The clubhouse in sector 2 in Dosti Tulip is about 15,000 square feet. And again in Dosti Nest we have a clubhouse that's around 48,000 square feet. So by doing so we're ensuring that each and every sector which has more than 1,500 families staying get to enjoy their own amenities. It's extremely important to note that we believe in, in providing as many open spaces as possible, as many recreation zones as possible throughout our projects across, across Mumbai, Thane and Pune. Sir, coming to this event and... Uh, Sir, you. Firstly, I would really like to thank Mr. Milindri for coming in. Uh, overall, Dosti West County, as you see, as you guys can see, that we are coming out with not only the small <coughs> clubhouse, we are coming out with a lot of private clubhouses and buildings for each residence alongside this clubhouse. At the same time, we have so many more sectors coming along also, thus making this entire vicinity very, just very admirable from every um, Milind in general has been a very good fitness icon all around the world sometimes like you know when we sit and look at all the Instagram and the social media posts he's inspiring almost each and every human being with his fitness goals and his marathon training and uh, we could not have it better than him uh, we could not have anybody better than him inaugurating this club so definitely this is one of our one of the nine clubhouses in the vicinity of Thane and we are just very grateful to have so Thank you. That Dosti, especially our HR, we have been constantly looking to do some innovations and fitness challenges across Dosti, such as having the 90 day fit challenge last year. We even sent many of our staff members to the Mumbai Marathon last to last year. Every year we host the Devil Circuit here at West County. We even hosted the Thane going pink here in 2017 2018. And now nobody has an excuse. You have a clubhouse right in your project where all of you can use the gym, all of our gym freaks can be here, the fitness guys can, can be in the gym, we can be in the outdoor gym and the badminton courts, squash courts and tennis arena. And uh, we'd like to even thank our partners Club Elysium for joining us in the clubhouse. Club Elysium have a very good expertise in professionally running clubhouses across India in fact. They do a lot of work be it in Pune, in Chennai, some work in Thane as well and we are glad to have them on board with us. They have um, partnered with us to bring in academies in the clubhouse 
As many of you know, for our Greater Thane project, we have partnered with multiple academies and we are looking at tying up with the same academies here at West County as well. So currently at West County, we have a Euro school being made. We have a um, dance academy by Shamak Dawar. We have a music academy by Suresh Vatkar. And both of them are very excited to launch very soon. At the same time, in the badminton courts in the basement, we'll be partnering with Saina Nehwal and our company goes by Badminton Pros. So we look forward to having all of our residents, customers and our staff members being trained by top pros across the country. So fitness should be practiced safely. Thank you. We'll continue our round. We'll continue yeah. the round.